Tactical game over. That's what that was. That was a tactical game over. It's so annoying, like... Crash 1 is my least, like, polished Crash Bandicoot. I can do 2 and 3 no problem. It's just 1's a pain in the ass. Especially when I'm playing on a PS4 controller that only works with analog. <laughs> and let me tell you, 8-way controls do not handle very well on this game. Comparatively, hopefully the insane collection or whatever has better analog controls Hey, I take a tactical game over full and I see look at that look at that look at that skill right there And because of that I'm going to miss that cycle normally I can go across Yeah, that worked out What have I got? Stage isn't too bad. 
I've had to do it a couple times because I keep messing up the bonus stage with Cortex. But nah, I think it'll, I'll look a lot better when I play Crash 2. Yeah, your bats. There's also something in this game that Crash 2 doesn't have, and it's your, like, when you spin, you actually have forward momentum. It's really, really weird. And it keeps, sometimes you'll get it, and then sometimes you won't. I don't know, it's weird. Cause like if you jump, spin in the air, and then when you land, like it, it, it will throw you off the nearest platform that you're going to. It will just launch you straight off, and there's nothing you can do about it. I don't remember that being in the other Crash games, but I could be wrong on that. Okay, land, then jump. Fuck. Nope. Okay, cool. We're good. Whew. That messed up my timing. Got yeah, here, snake. Spider bounce. I do like, though, how they implemented stuff like that where you have to learn how to bounce off enemies properly to get across stuff. I don't think there's much of that in the later Crash games. See if I don't have to take that. Okay, we're good. Should be good. As long as I don't accidentally kick the snake into those boxes, we'll be fine. Okay, we're good. Because I need what's in that bottom right here. That please, thank you. I'm gonna get the last one right up here, hopefully. Hopefully one try this. Yep. Just gotta wait for those to go. And then we're good. I fucking hate eight-way fucking analog controls. I fucking hate them so much. <laughs> I barely moved the analog stick down to calculate that jump, and I got a complete foreground jump instead. Like, that's what I mean. Hopefully they calibrate the controls so the analog isn't as touchy in the new game. Because it's really bad. Unless you're holding like absolutely straightforward, you will go in that direction that you're barely pulling towards. And then I missed the jump there. Or rather, I jumped far enough out that it caused me to slide right off the edge of the platform instead of jumping. Because I guess the game hadn't registered that I had landed yet, so I didn't get my jump back. I'll get it here. I need that key that you get from the Cortex bosses, I think, to finish the game. It's either that or... Stop! Fucking missing that jump. Don't mean to swear, but... Like, that that gets irritating after a while, that you jump over and that you somehow have enough momentum to actually take yourself over the ledge. Oh, yeah, I wanted to jump there and I didn't. Jump back to the platform. Nope, get out of here, snake. I'm just not able to get anything going. Okay. Yo, Alex, is it buffering for you right now, or are you still here? This 
seriously, are you getting buffering or no? Because I'm thinking it might just be my laptop here that I'm using on Twitch that's giving me the buffer. I was dropping frames for a minute there, but I only dropped like 429, which isn't too bad, comparatively. Wait for this to come up. Okay, you're not getting it. Well, that's good, hopefully. At least it's just my computer then, that's fine. I do hope though that in the Insanity Collection they change how Crash 1 saves because it's really, really bad. It's not good. You actually have to complete the bonus stages to save, and that's the only way to save. There's like no actual save functionality. Like in Crash 2 there's a save wall, Crash 3 save wall, and I think from then on they just adopted the save wall. And I, I didn't... I actually don't really know what happened there. I guess I just didn't jump far enough out. I must have held up without thinking about it. Oh, no. Oh, I almost got stabbed. I almost got shanked. You fucking snake. He didn't even... Mm, okay. Yep. There's no way that snake got me. Like, that snake was in, like, its back head, or it was moving its head back and getting ready to strike, and then I just died. It's like, okay. Got of here. I'm telling you, dude. They better fix the analog controls for Crash 1, or otherwise that game is going to be insanely difficult to play with D-pad support. I was holding, and then I, yep, tech 